if you want to set up your Google Slides as the size of a piece of paper so that students could either complete it digitally or print it and complete it paper and pencil, here's how you do that. You go to File and then all the way down to Page Setup and you're going to click where it says widescreen and change it to Custom and that's where you can change it to the size of a piece of paper which is 8.5 by 11 or you could even do 11 by 8.5 so that it is landscape instead of portrait and then you can fill things in and change anything you want. Um, this is where you would create your learning activity. I'm not going to, I'm going to actually grab something from another tab just so you can see. This is my mystery matchup that I created. I did that, those same steps, but watch when I go to file and print, actually instead of file print, I'm just going to hit the print button here. Um, you'll notice when we go to print it, instead of printing like a thumbnail, like it normally would when you print slides, it is actually going to make it a full bleed. There's your whole piece of paper. So there you can see if my students printed this at home or if I have some students face to face with me that I'm just giving them a change. I want them to be able to do it with paper and pencil. I can print this and let them complete the activity by hand with paper and pencil, or I can send this through Schoology or Canvas or Google Classroom and let my students complete it digitally. Let's work smarter and not harder and create activities that will work in more than one way. Hope this is a helpful tip.